YouTube, this is Spirit Halloween 1 6. I'm back for another video, and today we will be another Jack Lantern review on the Brown Jumping Spider. So, I got this, uh, full price is 80. I got this in 2013, so I got it for 50 bucks. And so, yeah, I am actually gonna go with the price that I got it for. Um, so, overall, I like the de cobweb, like the cobweb. The only downside about it is that it does tend to stick to the spider, like, when you, like, de-attach it. So, you just gotta set it, um, pull it off and stuff. And I like how you can pull it out and cover all of, like, the thing. The only problem is that it's kind of see-through. Um, it's kind of hard to see. So, yeah. And I like how the eyes light up. It's kind of hard to see, but... Yep. So, I'm going to turn it on for you guys. So, you can see what, what happens. So, if you have some problems with it, um, so number one, um, is to, it, like, if you have this brown jumping spider or any jumping spider and it's not functioning correctly, first, I would check and make sure that all the flat thing, like, the things to connect to make it flat is, um, like, fully snapped in correctly and, um, and to also make sure that it is actually on flat surface. And if not, then there's also a thing that, like, if you haven't read the directions correctly, there's actually a thing you have to pull back and attach to the thing, like, two sprungs. And if, um, after that, if it still doesn't work, like, if eyes don't light up, check the wiring and make sure it's all, like, connected or... Um, make sure it doesn't get ripped. So I give this prop a five out of five jack o' lanterns. I just actually like really love him for the price for fifty bucks, and I like how he scares people, and how it's like a like some people might think it's like a fake spider and it jumps out. The only problem is that like I don't like how it has like this sensor thing right here. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but yep, yeah, where my finger is. I hate 